Hello and welcome to the New Light Podcast. Uh, shining that ever-increasing new light, not old light, but new light, on all the uh, Jehovah's Witness organization and anyone affiliated with Jehovah's Witnesses. Now, you might enjoy listening to this podcast, even if you've never been involved at all in the Jehovah's Witnesses, and we welcome you. <laughs> okay, so thank you for tuning in to my YouTube channel, British Victims of Jehovah's Witnesses. We're going to crack straight on. So, the LGBT community versus Jehovah's Witnesses. First of all, I want to establish in this series that Jehovah's Witnesses are in fact homophobic. Now you might say, no, 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 Jehovah's Witnesses, we're not homophobic. You know, if you're a Jehovah's Witness, you might even, with cognitive dissonance, you might even half believe what you're saying when you say that. But I'm going to show you some things and read some things that says otherwise. First of all, I want to take you to the Watchtower. Now, this is the Watchtower number one. 2022 because they don't do dates anymore they just say number one number two number whatever uh, so watchtower the first 2022 can we conquer hatred okay i'm going to read to you um this first page have you been the victim of hatred if not you have likely observed it in one form or another the news is filled with reports of racism homophobia and xenophobia, expressions of hatred based on race, sexuality, or nationality. As a result, many governments have passed laws against various hate crimes. Yes, one law that should be being passed is if a religion is homophobic, they don't qualify for charity status. But anyway, we'll come to that. Okay, reading on. Hatred easily leads to more hatred. Victims of hatred often retaliate with revenge and fuel an ongoing cycle of hatred. Perhaps you have experienced, yes, uh, prejudice, stereotyping, radical insults and threats, yet hatred uh, often goes further. It frequently erupts into cruel aggression, bullying, vandalism, assault, rape, murder or even genocide. This magazine will address the following questions and show how hatred can be conquered. All oh, good. Right. Why is there so much hatred? How can the cycle of hatred be broken? Will there ever be a time when hatred will go, will be gone forever? Interesting. Have you ever heard the expression when you point one finger, three are pointing back at you? This paragraph I've just read beautifully describes the problem of hatred within the Jehovah's Witness organisation. This, uh, this topic. Oh, Jehovah's Witnesses, they're not hate haters. They're, 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 they're not. Um, you don't know what you're talking about. Come on. They, they don't hate. They're nice people. Okay. All right, then. So I'm now going to read from a book called Shepherd the Flock of God, which I did have up and lost it. There it is. Shepherd the Flock of God. Okay. And we're going to read to you from uh, chapter 12, which is about establishing if a judicial committee should be formed. What's a judicial committee? Well, this is a jerry-rigged court of usually three elders that will basically determine whether or not somebody who has been found guilty of a one of breaking one of the many rules of Jehovah's Witnesses that uh, carry the weight of disfellowshipping, they basically determine amongst the three of them whether this individual should be disfellowshipped or just reproved. Reproved is a slap on the wrist and is kind of like half a disfellowshipping really you get to return from <laughs> okay um but disfellowshipping carries with it the the, the uh, penalty of shunning so part seven strong circumstantial evidence of sexual immorality in brackets poor near okay if at least two eyewitnesses report that the accused stayed all night in the same house with a person of the opposite sex or with a known homosexual under improper circumstances, judicial action may be warranted. Okay, and then it gives you a Watchtower 1807, page 32. So, yeah, Jehovah's Witnesses are homophobic. Okay, they will literally disfellowship you, and they'll certainly haul you into a jerry court of three men uh, and question you about your personal uh, life if there's even a whiff of suspicion, because at least two eyewitnesses have reported. That you've stayed in a house 
Yes, you can literally be hauled before three elders for not having done anything other than staying the night in someone's house if they're a known homosexual or a person of the opposite sex. I mean, how culty is that? <laughs> okay. Um, now, I'm now going to go to... So we've established they're homophobic. So how does this work in principle? Now I'm going to go to Twitter and I'm going to go to Mighty Mouse and what she wrote. This is not an isolated incident. We see and hear about these things happening all the time because that is how Jehovah's Witnesses behave. Can't find it. Ah. Uh, do, 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 do. Right. This is just flawless, isn't it? This is such good video making. Long pauses. Um, when you want to find something and you just can't find it. There we go. I found it. Right. Oh, yeah, because I retweeted it. So that could be helpful. Can't find my retweet. Oh, it's a quote tweet. There we go. Okay. Right. I'll read you the original tweet. Hashtag XJW. My friend's 13-year-old daughter came out to her mother, her JW mother, as bi. So basically what this daughter is guilty of is saying, Mum, I think I'm bi. Um, and she told that to her mother in confidence. She's been taken off as an unbaptized publisher with a humiliating announcement from the platform that her mum made her attend. Now all her friends are shunning her. This is why we fight. Hashtag stop shunning. And my retweet, quote, retweet says, classic example of why Jehovah's Witnesses should not be a charity when they hate the LGBT community so much that they shun a 13-year-old for something she said. Okay, so what we're seeing is homophobia. <laughs> exactly what it says here. Have you been the victim of hatred? Well, that 13-year-old can now read this article in a very confusing state of mind where it says, if not, you have likely observed in one form or another. The news is filled with reports of racism, homophobia. You see, this 13-year-old girl has access to both the, the internal and the public um Watchtower magazines, even though she's currently an unbaptized publisher, she's not even an unbaptized, unbaptized publisher anymore, and she's being shunned, she still has access to reading this. And this is what we're giving the general public, misleading comments that lead them to believe that we aren't homophobic, when in fact uh, the Jehovah's Witnesses are far from being above being homophobic. Yeah, they're right down in the gutter when it comes to homophobia. They're the worst of the worst. And so what we're seeing with the Jehovah's Witnesses is this intolerant... <laughs> it's funny, they put out a video in which um, the lady who was sticking up for the LGBT community on this propaganda Jehovah's Witness video said to the Jehovah's Witness, intolerant people, and that was put out as a video, and it's like, well, yeah, she's absolutely right. You are intolerant people. If you go around with that mindset that you can't even have a LGBT bracelet, okay, which was the point of that video. So, yes, I think we've established in 10 minutes or less, <laughs> we have now established that Jehovah's Witnesses are, in fact, homophobic to a dangerous degree. They have literally destroyed a young 13-year-old's confidence, taken all her friends away from her. She now can't speak to anyone, um, all because she confided in her mother about how she feels. That's, that, that was her, her crime. That was her quote-unquote sin, okay? Um, and now she can still go to the, the attend the meetings, because they attend via Zoom now, and they don't go to the auditoriums or Kingdom Halls, but they but she everyone has to ignore her. Nobody's even allowed to say hello to this poor thirteen year old. And this is a classic example. It happens all the time. I just picked that one because it happened to be on Twitter today. But you know, what is going on 
with the Charity Commission, the HMRC Charity Commission here in the UK that allow IBSA, Kingdom Hall Trust and Christian Congregation of Jehovah's Witnesses, all three are allowed to be charities here in the United Kingdom. Why? That's crazy. Completely crazy. Why are they allowing them to be a charity, the Jehovah's Witness movement, to be a charity or charities, I should say, when they clearly don't qualify because of their hate speech and hatred, hateful bullying of uh, even, you know, people who want to be Jehovah's Witnesses. They get bullied in, in this way and cut off from friends and family. So this is cruelty, of course. And my question to the Charity Commission is, why the hell are they a charity? Come on. Seriously, guys. OK, so that's part one of my podcast. So I've now established that Jehovah's Witnesses are a homophobic organisation and they uh, deliver hate speech and hate actions towards the LGBTQ community, even to the extent where a comment made in confidence by a 13-year-old to her mother gets blown out of proportion. Um, and the punishments just don't fit the crimes, quite honestly. And that there was no crime involved. No crime involved. And according to the Bible, actually, the Bible is silent on that whole thing about telling your mother you're bisexual. It's not even mentioned in the Bible. Um, so actually, it's not even biblical. OK. Um, you know, it was words from a, a, a young girl. Just words. That's all it was. If she'd have said, if she'd have said, oh, fuck, then maybe her mother would have had a strong word with her about swearing. You know, um, but all she did was, Mum, I think I'm bi. That's all she did. And this organisation strips her of her friends. No one's now allowed to talk to her. And if she goes to school, she's told, you're not allowed to have friends at school, you know. So she, now she has no friends. This is the Jehovah's Witness culture. And they allow them to be a charity. It's disgusting, isn't it? So thank you very much for <laughs> listening to that rant, that <laughs> 12 and a half minute rant. And uh, I'll see you in part two. Now, even if you're not religious, you will be interested in part two because we're going to look at the clobber verses in the Bible in a whole new light. <laughs> OK, um, of part two of the LGBT uh, five part series on the LGBT versus the Jehovah's Witnesses. Thank you for listening.